How you feeling, bro? You ready? Nameless standouts, I'm guessing. Hopefully it's not nameless standouts. Hopefully it's like a uh, a whole cluster. Yeah. Or uh, somewhere on uh, you know Corpus. Anything you want to say? No. Dreaming sucks, maybe. Yeah, dreaming sucks. Okay. Dreaming All right. Sucks. Good luck, man. Thoughts? What's up? Any free tournament thoughts? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Let's get this. It's Liddy. <laughs> What's up, bro? Are you commentating, man? I am, uh, I think I'm allowed to say that now. <laughs> I, think <laughs> I think so. That's pretty much the thing. Yeah. We're about to, uh, we're gonna go up against a champion, I cannot say yet. Like, but we're going to. Is it who I think it is? Might be, I don't know. Could be. <laughs> but he does. <laughs> Technically, it's nameless because I'm not saying it. It is nameless. Technically. He said it. As a candidate. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Edit and post. Edit and post. Yeah, man. We got, uh, we got Eisenberg. We got Eisenberg. Oh, and I got my placement. All right. All right. All right. You're not taking this. Who, who's who we have taken it? Yeah. I put my money on Heisenberg. Heisenberg? Yeah. Wow, dude. Yep. My money's on Hector. I'm not an Omni, so I don't have an obligation there. I'm just feeling, I think Heisenberg's going to come and take it. He, he wanted it bad last year, and now he's in it. He's going to show us some stuff here. Yo, what's up, man? You ready? I haven't said anything. I feel good. I'm excited to be playing with some awesome dudes. Yeah. Um, I watch YouTube videos with yeah. these guys, and now I'm on stage with them, so whatever happens, I'm excited, man. We'll see what awesome, dude. Yeah. What are you Thank thinking? You. Who do you challenge is going to be? Man, um, I was thinking maybe they go old school, King or Thanos. Um, I don't know if they're going to go back. Last time, third boy, it was kind of tough. It was a little challenging. Um, maybe they're going to do something really wacky and give us like a buff spider Gwen. so I don't know, man. I'm thinking it's going to be like Nameless Thanos. Um, like a couple yeah. months ago. Yeah, I'm excited. I hope yeah. so. Good luck, man. Everybody, what does a New York nerd sound like? <laughs> Fantastic. I'm going to be your host, Tyler Nickel. There's words here. And I am very excited to be bringing you the official Marvel Contest of Champions Ultimate New York City Comic Con Tournament. Ooh, yes. We have had many competitors today, but three of them scored the best. They fought against Elsa Bloodstone, new to the tournament this month, and it was a heck of a fight, but they put up a heck of an effort. Now they face off against none other than Nameless Thanos and a chill. Ooh. Almost goes through the crowd. All right. <laughs> Nameless Thanos, for those not familiar, is a special Thanos to the Contest of Champions. He lives inside a Death Infinity Stone. He has all sorts of powers. He is a master of the Death Dimension. He's got a fully powered Infinity Gauntlet, and he's ready to snap the competition in half. You see what I did there? It's a joke. It's a joke for the nerds. They loved it. You can not see all of them are applauding. It's fantastic. Now, of course, challenge like this, need some big prizes and we are not going to disappoint in that respect because we're going to be giving away this gold medal oh look at that that is fantastic but we got more we have even more we got a tablet we've got a six star guillotine 2099 before anybody else in the contest has her we got tier five catalyst we've got an in-game title for the bragging rights of Bronx brawler and of course that covenant spot on the marvel main stage on saturday <laughs> So many words, I like it. How can you win? What are the rules? Why don't I tell you? We are looking for fastest KO. If we don't see that Thanos knocked down, we are looking for most damage done with least health lost, preferably. We'll see how we dive into those stats. Listen, I'm not a stat guy. I have someone special for that. So won't you all please make a lot of noise? He's the dorky man with the lesson plan. Dorky Diggity Dave is my co-host We are fighting that nameless Thanos, and this isn't your normal Grimace variety Thanos, not the purple guy. This is more of the ashy looking Thanos. There is no lotion Ooh. in the Death Dimension. 
So it's fair. That is where the great comes from. Now I want you to dive into some stats for me here. Like really looking at it, we got our competitors waiting on the sidelines. What are they looking at with a nameless Thanos stat pack? Well, first off, nameless Thanos has all of these different states, right? So he's gonna have his first 100% state. This is going to be your chance to get as much power as possible because you're going to need that special for the 95% and under. This is how you get rid of thorns and this is how you do your damage up until the 65 percentile. So you guys gotta keep that in mind. You have to use a special or you have to knock him down with a heavy attack. After that, you've got inverted control, so you've gotta be quick on that. Make sure that you finish your combos with a light attack, otherwise you're gonna be stuck in inverted. Or you can just master the thing and you'll have 50% extra attack on your base if you can fight inverted. After that, you've got 30%. He's gonna be unstoppable. You've gotta intercept. Your intercept game's gotta be on point, otherwise you're going down. Wow. And, uh, so you've got a lot of options here, man. You've got to use an Avenger if you want to use that safeguard, or you've got to get that intercept with someone else. All right. Now, Dave just laid down a lot of knowledge. To me, an amateur who plays for the story, it sounded like many words in a row, several of which made sense to me. I look forward to seeing how all of our champions today take care of that. So let's bring out our first summoner. You're going to give me some help during the commentary for this, yeah, right? Yeah, we're going to have a little bit of help here. Uh, I am going to, I'm going to suggest a few to you guys. You can listen if you want, or, right. you know, we've seen how that goes when people listen, they become champions, <laughs> but that's fine. So, uh, I've got Void on my list, I've got Cap Infinity War if you want an Avenger, I've got Havoc if you want to do some quick damage, because you're going to have two choices, you're either going to win the thing, or you're going to do as much damage as possible. So if you win, you win, but if all of you win, it's who got it in the best time, but if you don't, it's who did the most damage. So all you got to right. decide who's going to be the champ and who's just going to do the most damage. Fantastic. Well, Dave, I'm going to need you to step to the side because I need to bring out my first summoner. I'm on the side. All righty. They came in third in today's competition, and that means they have to go up first with everybody watching. Please welcome out your first summoner today! We'll get it, bro. All righty. Yeah. Look right down the barrel of the internet and tell everybody your username. Uh, I go by A's in game, and, uh, man, nervous. All right, well that's fantastic. Keep in mind, for those of you watching at your comfortable, comfortable homes, or in the corner of your work computer when you should be doing other things, we got crowds, we got a stream, we might not have it set up how you like, you've put up a hell of a show this far, you're gonna be going up against Nameless Thanos, who do you think you're bringing to this challenge? You know, I was thinking about it, and uh, I think I might be going Nameless. All right, all right, it's a solid choice. So we're going to get you over into the hot seat here. We're going to go right into this fight. Feel free to bring it right up there. All right, now of course, our summoners can have a brief moment there to look over their teams, check out some buffs. You know, make the most of it. You're up here, enjoy yourself. It's New York City. I would suggest reading the notes as well. None of those choices look like Void, Captain America, Infinity War, or Havoc, but that's fine. Let's see how that goes. Now, listen, sometimes you need to bring, you know, the Prince of Atlantis. He's going to scream some imperious Rex at you, and you're going to see what gets done. That's right. And he has a song, so there is that. Oh, there's that. <laughs> now, if you're looking to slay hearts, you can bring that character in. We're checking through those Infinity Gauntlet states. Now that is a fully powered Infinity Gauntlet exclusive to the contest. He has his own Infinity Stones in there. This Thanos, he made that snap. Nobody stopped him. It is fantastic. Absolutely. And one of the good things about this fight is that you do have interrupts in between, so you don't have to keep an eye on where your uh, health, bar, the health bar is. They'll be able to know just by the switch of animation. Mm -hmm. Now, Namor, of course, looking a lot like Hyperion. Oh, they're twins. It's fair. All right, so Ace goes in. He gets that parry, but does not. Oh, but he ends up landing that heavy. Got a little lucky there. Go ahead and land that again. He's building up Furious to do as much damage as possible. Now, this is going to be very, very important because you have to have a special ready. So it looks like he's going to get to his SP3. And by the time that 95% hits, he's going to be able to launch his SP3 right away and go right to work. That's fantastic. Now, Hyperion, of course, devastating champion. He got icy breath, fiery eyes, he can fly, he's got super strength. 
I am absolutely certain there is not a single other superhero who could match that. Hold on. Nope. I'm being told it's different. All right, we're fine. Nothing at all. We're so fine. He, he does land that SP3 there, which now he can go in with his berries and do damage with a lot of berries. So as you can see, he's already dropping that down. As soon as he gets down to that 65%, he's going to now be in the inverted controls. He is powering through, and we are looking at two more minutes left on that clock, and it is still a healthy fight. Now, what he, did, what he just did right there is he had four Furies, he dropped his SP1, so now he's going to be d doing damage over time while he's doing damage physically. Uh, I took a couple of hits there. Oh, that's not what you want to see. Yeah, give it up, you can clap. You have two hands connected to a heart, why not? So he goes in here. Now, one of the tricks here is that as soon as he throws that first beat, you've got to already be in and burn uh -oh. controls. Uh oh! Unfortunately, oh. that was the trick that was there. Good, that was there it is. Oh. Oh. All right, we're going to get a stand right here. Obviously, not the exact outcome we were hoping for today, but the good news is, as our first competitor, that is the score to beat. How are you feeling things went at the end there? Um, I just, I didn't see it coming, but I'm going to put this one that's fair. Thanos can't sneak up on you like that. I'm going to get you to stand over to the side. I'm going to bring Dork Dig and Dave back up here. Dave, a little uh, post-game interview with you. What do you think happened in those last few moments with uh, Hyperion? Uh, what ends up happening there is uh, you, you forget that the inversion happens right at the start of the special. So before, in the old Thanos, you were able to do it opposite, and then you had the inverted controls, but this one starts right away, and it's a big throw-off if you're not ready for it. That is true. Now, this Thanos comes from our story of Avengers Forever, so it might not be a character everyone's familiar with playing with. It's not something you get over and over again in the That's contest. It's kind of fresh for everybody today. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, as we can see, we've got two more contestants to go and see if they can maybe jump on that and be ready for it. Fantastic. Well, I think I'm ready for another contestant if you're ready to let me talk to someone who's not you. I am. I'm, I'm moving off the stage. I like it. It's, it's great. So, our next contestant, they came in second, which means they get to fight second. It's a coveted position to be in. Everybody, please welcome out your second summoner! This is the moment you've been waiting for, where you get to shout your username into my microphone. Tell everybody at home your username. Freeman sucks! It certainly does. Why even bother with it? So, we got this big wide Marvel Cinematic Universe and Marvel Cinematic Comic Universe to play with. Who are you going to be bringing up against Nameless Thanos here? Probably Hyperion. Probably Hyperion. Why change something that obviously worked so great the first time? I like this plan and I'm a fan of it. I'm going to even sit right down into the hot seat here. Luckily you already have a champion loaded up for you. Now, for those of you again unfamiliar with Hyperion, very unique character. He is the lone survivor of his race. And also, in many ways, insane. <laughs> Yet again, I don't think we've ever seen any other kind of character like that. Oh, but if we could think of one, that would be super. Superman! <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Oh, I look forward to not being the host of this in the days to come, but it was worth it for that one joke. <laughs> which we did on the spot, by the way. I'm very proud of that. Oh, yeah, why not? So now we have Hyperion here again, which looks nothing like Void or Captain America or Havoc. Doesn't matter. It's not like I've played this thing a million times, but it's fine. But let's see what kind of damage we can get done here. It's very important to build up those Furies. The thing with Hyperion is that you are now at the mercy of RNG. If you don't get the Furies in the right way, you're not going to do the damage that you want to do. And this, at this point, is about damage unless he can actually finish the fight. Ooh, taking a lot of big hits there. Now. Keep in mind, Hyperion's jawline is something to marvel at, but once you're up against Thanos and his many, many jawlines, it's hard to really compete. That is correct. That is Grimace again. So hopefully he can make his comeback here. He's going to do the damage. Uh, probably bring him right around 80%. There we go. 88. Yeah. You know, Grimace is a taste bud, and that's a fact I know instead of how to do long division. I did that. Yeah, that's true. Oh. He gets in the incinerate, he's going to be doing that damage, he's doing about 265 per tick, which is good, he can get through, oh. he gets another launch in, that is perfect, oh. and he's continuing on, down to 69%. Keep that fire burning. So 
We are now in the inverted controls. Good, he took advantage. He went right in right away and he launches his special. Now, he can take advantage of this because Thanos is not going to launch an SP2 until he gets to the SP2. He will not launch an SP1 in that time. That's true. So now, right now, at this point, he's just trying to do as much damage and he was ready for it. Oh! oh. Good show. The full flex. All right. Now, oh, no, come right back. I, I need more of you in my life, Dreaming Sucks. It's, I don't need a large eclipse of Dreaming Sucks. I need it right now, right here. So, you felt good about that? There was a nice flex afterwards. Uh, any words of advice or threats to the following competitors? Um, yeah, just don't suck as much as Dreaming. <laughs> it's wise words of advice. It's words we can live by day to day. I thank you so much for that. I'm going to get you to stand right over to the side there. And George, we're going to bring you right up. Now we've seen two Iperian fights. I personally fear a third. I don't know if Thanos could survive it. Most likely there's going to be a third. It's going to be taking the same steps and just trying to do a little bit better. So he's been able to see two already. You've got to be ready for that first strike and you've got to know which bubble to Dex out of the way of. So I think Heisenberg went for just the block to see if he could do as much damage as he could with that second bubble hit him. Uh, he parried the first one, which did mitigate some of the damage, but uh, he got a full on block hit on the last one and that took him out. That's fair, all right. Now keep in mind, Contest of Champions boasts over 160 playable champions Let's see if we see a different one or the exact same as we bring up our final summoner of the day. Torque, I'm gonna be talking here, I know it's fantastic. You've scored top, you've seen the other people fight, you're prepared. I'm ready to be shocked to my core when I ask this. First of all, tell everyone your name, your username. Hey everybody, my name's Frank. My uh, handle is F and EJ. My nephew. Fantastic. Alright. Who are you bringing up against nameless Thanos? I, I'm not saying I'm not going to pick hypes, but I'm going to go through, um, my girl Quake and Medusa have treated me well for years, um, I have to give them a look, um, but obviously stacking damage is going to be key, so I got a couple guys in mind, I'm going to go through some stats and see what I come up with. I'm a fan of that, let's get you over to that hot seat. We're going to be checking through some stats. Now the hype is real, and we've seen the hype twice today. That Hyperion, it's a force to be reckoned with. And personally, I admire his spit curl. I don't know about you. I do, I do. I like spit curls. Yeah. Wow. I, uh, I often uh, sport them by myself, but that's fine. <laughs> now, of course, Off camera. Now, now, of course, we were promised checking other champions, but at this point, we're just looking Hyperion straight down the line. It's looking like it. I really do think Void is a good choice because Void has damage over time. You have control over how many of those uh, debuffs that you're placing. As soon as he gets Fear of the Void, you're going to be stacking even more damage. So even when you're not hitting him, you're still doing damage without having to interact. Uh, which I think is a great choice and a great way to maybe oh, take the win. We're off. We are off with three minutes on the time. Oh, look, it's Hyperion. So this is such a popular pick because he has that automatic power gain and it is so fast. So by the time you get to the next phase, you're just launching an SP3 and you can go right into work. Uh, on top of that, you've got Furies uh, and you've got a lot of extra damage. So it's not a bad choice. Uh, let's see which one of these yeah. guys can take the win. Now, obviously, I do enjoy oh. that this is level the playing field. Uh, so, ooh, speaking of leveled. <laughs> Yeah, he, so if you parry him while he has the cocoon, it returns to parry and he just goes ham on you. But he's very close to his SP1, so he's going to launch that right away, so he can't do that again. He's going to have to either drop him with a heavy attack or drop him with a special. He cannot attack, and he misses that. That's going to be a punish, and that's, oh, he got lucky there. That was not a five-hit combo. Maybe he can save some face here. We have a minute 50, just about on the clock here. Oh! oh! Oh. All right, we're going to give you a second to sit with that. You know what's going to be your favorite part of this is standing right here and talking to a crowd about what you do. Sit in the chair. We can keep you there. Let me get through things before rewarding others. Didn't go the way you wanted. You know what? A little bit of nerves. I'm so used to my roster, I'm not making excuses. I jumped the gun on the selection. Um, you have to live with your decision. I made a couple of really unbreakable mistakes today. Don't learn from me. Um, that parry killed me. Um, but yeah, 
privilege to be with you guys up on stage. Great competition. It was an honor to watch these guys. They put up an awesome effort against a super difficult boss in this game. That is fair. All right, well, I'm going to get you to stand right over to the side there. Now, I'm going to say some shocking words here, because no one would have expected this at all, except everyone who watched the matches and just understood the stats that happened. We have a winner for today's championship. We do. They're going to be getting that beautiful prize pack, some bragging rights, and of course, they're going to be meeting up on that Marvel stage at 4.30 on Saturday. Please, everyone, lose the tiny minds you still possess for Dreaming Sucks! In the middle there. I think we have some sort of medal. Uh, Dork, you've got a medal to... I do have a medal. This is a gold medal, gold Marvel Contest of Champions medal here for Dreamin' Sucks. Oh, it looks good. We'll put it on you. Wear it with pride. Let everyone at home see. Okay, okay, okay. I've got, I've got to put you got to put down. Do some ceremony to it. Have some respect for Dreamin' Sucks. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Wear that with pride all weekend. What, what is... I don't know what powers we fested in you, but there. Now, Dreamin' Sex, you are our first competitor to be going up against that big final fight on Saturday. Any words to say to the people who face you in the days to come? It's pretty um, incredible how unprepared I went into the fight. I'm still won. Ace, I appreciate it. Frank, you did an amazing job. Guys, go subscribe to those two on YouTube. And Dreamin' Sex. All right, well, we've got it there. Let's hear a big round of applause for your winner today. We're going to get you on the side. We'll be getting you a big old prize pack. Don't worry about it. I'll just leave that. That's fine. I'll get you to step off to the side because I need a couple more words with Dave here. All right, so there you have it, our first competitor. You're going to be wanting to stay tuned to that live stream on the Marvel main stage here at New York Comic Con to see how all of this turns out and who's going to be walking home with that beautiful Isosphere trophy. Dork Diggity Dave, where can people find you online if they hope to find you? People can find me on youtube.com slash dorklessons. Make sure that you know that. Share it with your friends. Share with your mama. All that Whoa. stuff helps me out. And you know what else is there? There is an album with all the music on it. So make sure you go to the channel, check it out, and I'll just leave it at that. All right. And if you're looking for me, I'm a magical gnome who lives inside of your computer. I'm stuck here now, and this is the universe I'm possessed by. In the meantime, if you haven't played Marvel Contest of Champions, be sure to download it on your favorite mobile device. And this month, we have three fantastic new champions added in to the contest. We're looking at Elsa Bloodstone, Man-Thing, and the brand new character, Guillotine 2099. If you haven't seen them yet, I've got a treat. It's called a video that you're going to watch right now. In the meantime, everybody, I'm Tyler Nickel, and we'll see you in the contest. Thank you, everybody. You can keep clapping. I like it. Your claps are the only way I know love. How you feeling, buddy? It should have went better. Dude, you should have used Cap. Yeah, you yeah, should have used Cap. I could have done better. Watch block that those L2s, you know? It's not that I went to evade to parry, yeah, and he yeah. threw his special. Yeah. So, that's what it is. Izzy, how you feeling, buddy? Good, man. We're good. Yeah, you're good. Sleep good. Come on up. Come on up. Come on.